you need to stay where your presence is valued, where you are respected and well treated. To all my ladies out there, this is for you. What's up, my beautiful lovers? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Tim Wapel. We learn and we have fun here. Please consider subscribing. Let's grow together. Listen, have you ever wondered why people no longer treat you the way they used to treat you? Or maybe they no longer respect you after the first meeting or they don't they don't value you anymore. Not because you don't know how to dress, not because you disrespected them, or maybe because you don't smell good or you have a bad character. Sometimes none of this could actually be the reason why people avoid you or disrespect you. You might have this inbuilt character or inbuilt behavior inside of you that you find it very difficult to unlearn. But you have to unlearn that behavior or that character if you want people to respect you or be around you. Today I'll be sharing with you three things you can actually do if you want people to love you, if you want people to continue to respect you, treat you nice, and always want to be around you. Let's hop right into the topic of today. The number one thing you need to do if you want people to continue to love you, treat you nice, respect you, and value you is to learn to be unavailable. Learn to be unavailable for people. Don't always be available at every party, every event, every wedding. You are not supposed to be everywhere. Make yourself scarce. Don't be at every wedding as a guest or as a shabby or something. Learn to miss out on nightclubs. Learn to miss out on dates. Learn to miss out on beach parties. Learn to say no. Don't make your face always available. Let me give you an instance. Maybe it's your first time attending a house party or a pool party. Everybody there noticed that they've not seen you before. It's your first time there. They will want to be around you. They will appreciate your presence. Everybody will want to. Some will even ask for your contact. Let them keep in contact with you because they've never seen you before. Because your face is real. Nobody has seen you at any nightclub or any party. All of a sudden, they attend another house party or pool party. You are there. They attend the third one. You said you are coming. The fourth one, you are there. Huh? They will start looking at you like, come on, girl, you are everywhere. Your value would decrease automatically. If you are always at every event, if you are always at every party, every house party, girl, they will no longer value you like they used to. So if you want people to value you and respect you and always want to be around you, you have to make yourself scarce. You have to say no to that nightclub. You have to say no to some dates. You must not go. You have to say no to some house parties. Listen, do it once in a, once in a blue moon. It makes sense. Believe me, don't always be at every party. Make yourself unavailable. Honestly, there's this vibe that comes with when people have not seen you in two months not because you're not in the country or in the city but go you are busy inside building yourself loving yourself up respecting yourself with the people in your cycle not always being at every party and every event it will make people want to love you it will make people crave you you have to give people reason to crave you yes i love that word crave me yeah let people crave you let them want to be around let it be like i've not seen this girl out ever since that can we please be talk? can we ask her to come out tonight can we beg her to actually come out some people will be like oh more if you ask her she will not come if you beg her she will not come so you just have to make yourself that real girl believe me i don't know i have friends few but i don't think anyone on this planet will ever tell you they've seen me at any club or any party before not because I've never been invited or I don't have people who go to all these places, but my own is different if I'm see because I'm an introvert. I hardly, I don't like crowds. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I want to get back home. I will either be sick or start regretting why I stepped out. So it's never my thing. So if you want people to love you, always want to be around you, always want to associate with you, go, you have to make yourself unavailable for these people. Let them not see you finish. If people see you finish, they will not value you anymore. I don't know if you're getting me. If people see you finish, they will not value you anymore. Of course, they want to see something new. But if you are that girl that comes any day, the moon comes out, that's when you come out. Girl, they want to be around you. You see how people celebrate the new moon? That's how they will celebrate you because you're not always there shining your teeth, shining your eyes, looking forward to connect you, looking forward to... It's good to network sometimes you can actually go out and network with people but don't always be 
as the event make yourself unavailable if you've wondered why people don't want to be around you anymore nobody's inviting you again because they are tired of seeing your face another thing is this when you're always available some people will start thinking you don't have anything to do with your life or you don't have a job people are weird make your presence be a blessing to them like when they see you let them feel your presence let your presence bless them step out once once looking all bougie and smart don't always be available buying clothes going out well i don't know how to do it you need to learn how to say no to pool parties especially beach parties nice dates clubbing um i don't know i'm not saying you shouldn't do this but once in a while will earn you more respect honestly it will make people want to always be around you don't let people see you finish when they finish you, they will not want to be around you anymore. They will be like, oh, I don't like that girl anymore. They will start complaining for no reason. You know why? It's because of nothing but your presence is, is choking them. You are always available. So they will no longer value you. You need to learn how to say no. You need to make yourself unavailable. That is a way to get people loving you. It's very easy. If you have a good character, you have a good physique, everything is good. You know how to dress, you smell so damn good. But listen, if you are always at that restaurant, always at that party, when they're coming, they know they're going to meet you there, your value will decrease. This is the first thing you need to do. If you want people to respect you and love you, my darling, be unavailable. The second thing is this, don't always make everything to be all about you. You will never have a long-lasting friendship with people or relationship with people if you make yourself the center of everything all the time. You need to learn how to listen to people. You need to learn how to pay attention to others. People want to be heard. They want to be around someone who will understand them. They want to be around someone who will give them a shoulder to cry when they are broken. Not someone who is always talking about her own problem. Without considering the person you are talking to, without thinking about this other person, you need to learn how to listen to others. You need to learn how to allow people to talk, allow people to speak. People want to be heard, not just you talking about your family problem. Let people know that once they call you during their difficulties, you will always be there to pray with them or always be there to make them feel better again. Don't make yourself the center of everything. Don't make yourself the center of the topic, the center of the situation you need to always remember that you are not the only one going through hard times in life a lot of people are going through hard times even some of your friends go through hard times too but you don't know because you are always talking about your own you find it very difficult to sit down and listen to them or hear them out speak to you about their own problem they don't need you to solve their problem but sometimes when you are filled up with life stress and all that you need someone to speak to you need a friend to actually communicate with and when you speak to this person you feel a little relief right so always remember that people go through things too you are not just the only one some people because you always talk about your own they will never tell you about their own problem because they feel you won't even listen you want to bring in your own let's for instance someone is telling you oh i'm having headache instead of you to say oh are you serious oh i'm sorry let's get you medicine or something you start saying oh i know that type of headache i used to have it before come on it's somehow people will avoid you they will avoid you if you tell me that instead of um not like you have to tell me sorry but of course you can actually suggest something maybe let's go to the pharmacy let's do this or you have to go and eat instead of you saying oh i used to have that kind of headache or oh, even yesterday no it's not nice Nobody wants to be around someone who is self-centered. If I know I can always run to you when I'm broken or maybe when I'm not happy, why wouldn't I respect you? Why wouldn't I value you? Why wouldn't I want to be around you all the time? You have to let people see you as a selfless person, not a selfish person. Be kind. Be a positive person if you want people to love you and respect you. Learn to be positive all the time. Nobody wants to be surrounded with a negative person. Nobody wants to be surrounded with someone who is always gossiping, who is always tearing others down. Don't be that person. Be a positive human. Be positive. Speak positive words when you are around people. Speak intelligent and smart words, not dirty words when you are around people. People will see you as a joke or a clown when you are always speaking negative things or dirty words when you are around them or something. Nobody will want to be around you. They will not value you. Your value will decrease. 
honestly when people see you always talking about the dirty things that happened in the uni the dirty things that happen online the dirty things that happen here and there or trying to tear other people down or gossip about others people will not respect you they will laugh because it's funny they will just want to be around you anytime they feel like oh they are bored and they want to laugh not because you are going to add any value to their life they just want to see you as a as a comedian you need to avoid that be a positive person don't make yourself the center of everything be selfless i'm not saying you should not have boundaries but be selfless be kind treat people with respect treat people with love treat people with kindness and they will always want to be around you you will get the same treatment you can't treat me bad and expect good treatment no so if you want people to love you respect you treat you well you have to learn to love them and respect them and treat them well as well don't make yourself look like the only one going through hard time like i said earlier people go through these things even your friends they go through hard time but they don't share with you because because they feel that you are always going to shut them up with your own problem you are always talking about your own problem you're always talking about your own situation you're always talking about how things spoil for you or how things go bad for you or even how things go well for you it's not just about the bad side oh i win a lottery i win this i win that i make this how much in a month you don't even allow people to talk you are always talking 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 about yourself it doesn't make sense people will avoid you so if you want that love if you want that respect you need to love and respect people you get what you give out okay you can't give out shit and expect diamonds you can't give out shit and expect gold if you give out shit you're going to get shit in return so let's go to number three which is the last one on this list number three is this stop complaining personally i don't like to be around people who complain they are always complaining about this they're always complaining about being broke they're always complaining about being sad instead of them standing up and doing something for themselves they are always complaining nobody wants to be around a complainer you need to stop that if you're always complaining if you're always bitter if you're always sad if you're always mad at everybody nobody wants to be around you nobody will respect you people will avoid you they will run from you you need to understand that not everyone is interested in your sad stories all the time you always have a sad story you always have family problems you always have issues not everyone is interested in listening to you a lot of people are going through their own faith a lot of people are going through their own thing people face challenges every day people face things every day don't make your own look like the worst so that people will start to pity you listen when people pity you today pity you tomorrow the third time they will no longer pity you they will stop picking your call they will avoid you they will no longer respect you they will see you as some unserious human being yes but when you have your own challenges but also understand that nobody has his or her life completely sorted you keep vibing with the life you keep growing you keep pushing you keep flowing you keep moving forward and not complain people will want to be around you yes because they feel your energy is good if you're always complaining nobody wants to be around you they might listen to you the first time oh you tell them your story oh wow interesting i'm so sorry your story is so bad oh i'm sorry they might even dash you something tomorrow you carry your chair again and come and sit beside me saying the same thing next tomorrow the same thing if you call me next time, I'm not going to pick your call. I will run away. So you have to understand, life is not fair for everyone, right? Well, people are pushing. People are going through it. People are enjoying the life that you are complaining that is not fair. We are enjoying this life. We are happy. Life is beautiful. You just have to sit down and understand it, that life is beautiful. Understand how you are going to push on your own path and get through it. And become the best version of yourself and become the happy person you've been desiring to become okay nobody has his or her life completely sorted nobody has his or her own she sorted out or completely together okay you need to learn how to manage your own situation and not be a burden to people if people see you as a burden believe me they will not want to be around you they're not even giving you anything but because you're always complaining Instead of you to bring up business idea or how to run a business or how to do something productive, you are always crying, complaining. Google is there. You always have your data. Instead of you to browse on the small business on YouTube, you can watch something productive that will help you become somebody. 
you are always crying and complaining man people will run away from you they will not value you they will see you as a burden okay so you, you need to learn how to flow with this life if you understand this game of life and how to play it you will learn not to complain to anybody nobody cares i don't know why i keep saying this people do not care it's not like you telling me about your story i'll feel sorry for you you don't even know what i'm going through myself you understand so it's not just me when you're sharing your story with someone always remember that this person life is sometimes unfair for this person or maybe this person might be going through something worse than your own but you are always the one complaining they're not even complaining it's more like men men always say that women complain too much you see a man being broke going through hard time not even have food to eat but he will never complain to you he will either go and work to make money or call his guys to sort himself out he will never complain don't always complain people will run away from you learn how to understand life if you are complaining at this stage that you are that things are not going well for you or maybe you, the apartment you are living you are not comfortable there you're always complaining if you get to the most visible apartment you will also be a complainer you need to learn how to stop complaining it's just like the still people nobody wants to be around a still person still broke still in the same position still unhappy still bitter still complaining still sad nobody wants to be around a still person you know so if you're a still person and a complainer people want to run away from you because nobody wants to be around a complainer nobody wants to be around someone that is always complaining and always still in the same position and never want to push forward Stop complaining, free up your mind, understand the game of life and how to play it, and watch people treat you like a queen. Watch people value you, watch people want to be around you, watch people respect you. These are the three things I have to share with you because I feel it's very important you understand how precious you are. You don't have to be always available at every party. Don't make yourself the center of every bad situation. Your own is not worse. You are better than thousands and millions of people on this planet. I love you so much. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.